and his grandchildren not knowing him. This government has failed him and all of us. Countless of our people have died for our so-called freedom. I can tell you this. I can tell you this is not what they had in mind as they laid down their lives. In conclusion, I would like to read what Chris said. When I was doing this research about his speeches, I found this, what he said, but couldn't find the date. <coughs> I could not find the date or where he was talking. However, this is what he said. And I would like all people who are going to be on the ground campaigning to listen very, very carefully. It's important for all of us as a country. This is what Chris said, open quotes. Comrades, you must not fear and try to suppress opposing political ideas. Even if they come from opposing political opponents of other organizations. You must improve your level, your level of debates to expose bankruptcy of the ideas of your opponent without using violence and vulgar language. The use of labels and insults in a political debate shows the poor political education. In fact, I doubt comrades who jump into labeling and insult if they are truly schooled in our liberation culture of debate and political education. Close calls. Now, 29th, we should all go and vote and vote for the political parties so that our democracy becomes strong. Thank you very much. Amanda. Before we continue with our program, I would like to acknowledge Minister of Employment and Labor, Dade Tulas Ngaisi, who's also going to be our program director in the second session. Are you ready now, Acting President? <laughs> I would like to call Dr. Uh, Nzimande. <laughs> Secretary of the SACP, Comrade Solima Baila, and members of the Central Committee, 
and thank the party for having ensured over the last 31 years that we don't forget this hero of ours. Let me also greet the SG of the ANC, Comrade Figil Mbalula, and uh, all the members of the NEC, as well as, by the way, the provincial leaderships and local structures of both the ANC and the SACP. Let me greet the leaders of all political parties uh, who are here from the Eguruleni municipality and thank you for continuing to officially honor and embrace this hero of our country, uh, Ukrisa. Let me also greet all the ministers who are here and deputy ministers. Uh, specifically, let me greet the speaker of Eguruleni and all the other officials of the municipality. Greetings to all the ambassadors, high commissioners, and other members of the diplomatic corps who have joined us today. And let me say all protocol observed and greet all the participants who are here today. Let me clarify the capacity in which I'm in here and speaking today. Because I've noticed uh, that uh, I'm being lobbied now <laughs> to declare South Africa a People's Socialist Republic of South Africa <laughs> by virtue of being an acting president. Now, I had to tell this one comrade to say, you don't declare socialism, you struggle and end socialism from the ground. And you don't use someone who's said to be acting as president. I'm here as minister representing the government of the Republic of South Africa. I've been requested by the president to do so. So there's a big difference between being an acting president as a minister asked by the president to represent the government of the Republic. I would just like to say that on behalf of the government of the Republic of South Africa, we regard heroes like Chris Arne and many others as founders of South Africa's democracy. The fact that they did not see this democracy does not detract from the fact that they are the founders. And government is committed to do more to ensure that this is being recognized. I get the message that government should consider establishing a proper museum. I will indeed take this message to the president uh, of the Republic of South Africa. As far as I'm concerned, I think it actually is a legitimate request and aspiration for a proper museum of the late Chris Arne to be established. Even more so because in his case, it was his assassination, brutally murdered by right-wingers that led to 27th of April being set up as the date of the first ever democratic election. But secondly, also, I would like to say that on behalf of the government of the Republic of South Africa, we will also, as Dimpo, do what we have been wishing. Ask one of our research institutions to pay for the writing of an official and family endorsed biography of the late comrade Krisan. We don't have such. So we will do that as government. And we'll do it unapologetically because sometimes we as government, sometimes we, we allow ourselves, uh, comrade Kungubel, to be intimidated by people who never fought for this country. 
and tell us all sorts of stories about why we cannot tell our own history. So we will tell this history of one of the founding fathers of South Africa's democracy, Okomre Dukrisai. We are also commemorating the 31st anniversary of the cowardly assassination of Comrade Krisani during the year in which we'll be celebrating 30 years of our democracy. The first task indeed that we do need to do in honor of Comrade to Chris is that on the 29th of May, we urge all South Africans to go out in their numbers and vote on the 29th of May. I can't go beyond that. <laughs> go out and vote in your numbers in order to defend the gains that we have made and also to pursue the path of a democratic South Africa. That is very important. But secondly, 30 years of our democracy, there are a number of things that if Comrade Chris were alive, would have been very happy about those things that this government, as led by the African National Congress over the last 30 years, has done. In fact, it's interesting that we can tell the achievements of the last 30 years through the very same campaign that Comrade Chris died leading, the Triple H campaign. The campaign on health, campaign to fight hunger, and campaign for housing. That's the campaign he was, he was, he was leading. And we can tell a good story. Uh, just around this campaign. First of all, Comrade Chris and I would be very happy that in the deepest of the rural areas of South Africa, you do find a, a sign that points you to a clinic. That we dare not underestimate. It's a legacy and an achievement of this government that no matter the fact that there are challenges that some of the clinics may not be to the standard we want, but in every little corner of South Africa there is a health clinic. That is an achievement that he would have been very happy about as part of the campaign that he led. But most importantly, we will be today celebrating with Comrade Chrisan that this parliament of a democratic South Africa has passed the National Health Insurance Bill, the NHR, which now awaits the signature of our president. By the way, historians, Professor Hade, will will have to write one day because there is a very direct link between that Triple H campaign and the NHI. This is a very, very important achievement. But one other achievement in the area of health that Comrade Chris would have been very happy about is that in the wake of COVID-19 and from our experiences of developed countries depriving us vaccines, we have now as South Africa for the first time developed local capacity to develop our own vaccines in South Africa. Not only for South Africa, but for the continent as a whole, and to develop the many vaccines that this continent actually needs. Scientists tell us that we have now, because of climate change, we have entered the era of pandemics. So it's very important that we don't become beggars, but we have our own local vaccine development capacity. That's on the health side. Just some of the things. On the issue of hunger, one of the biggest achievements of this government 
has actually been to establish, by the way, a system of social grants to alleviate poverty and for our people to be able to make some ends meet. Inadequate as they may be, but I am not aware in the sub-Saharan Africa of any system that has got social grants like we have. Whether it's the child grant, the old age grant, the grant for, the, for those with disabilities, and so on. That's a very important platform to fight against poverty and also against hunger. And it's something that is important. But one of the most important social grants, if you like, or grants that South Africa has established is an education grant, which, by the way, firstly, operates in the schooling system, not as a grant, but about 80% of South Africa's schools are fee-free schools. There, is no, there are no fees that are being paid there. And then there is the National Student Financial Aid Scheme that since it was established in 1991, by the way, it was our former president Mandela who went to declare the last apartheid president and said, you shall establish a scheme to help poor children to go to universities and colleges in 1991. That year, NESFAS was 21 million. This year, NESFAS has reached 50 billion brands, and it's supporting more than a million students. And since its establishment in 1991, it has supported more than 5 million students. Now, the most distinct thing about NESFAS is that it breaks intergenerational poverty. This thing of one family handing poverty to its generation that comes after it. Once you produce an artisan through NESFAS or an engineer or a medical practitioner, it's the end of poverty for that family. And usually, it's next generations. These are some of the things that are very important in taking forward the struggle that Comrade Chris had. The last one, which is housing. South Africa has actually built a lot of houses for poor people. According to our census, in addition to houses, which are way beyond two million, Census also shows that in 1996, only 58.1% of the houses were electrified. But in 2022, it was 94.7 houses electrified. As government, we are not happy about load shedding. We are doing all we can to fight to end load shedding. And we call upon all our people to join us in this fight, we need to end load shedding because it is a subtraction to our economic growth and development amongst other things. We must also take up this struggle to protect the advances we have made in providing piped water from 32.3 in 2001 to 59.7 in 2022. So as government, we want to say today, but Chris, as some of us used to call him, would have been very proud of these achievements. Of course, we are under no illusion that we still have a lot to do to take forward. In particular, there are challenges that we've done something about, but we are far from addressing them. The issue of jobs, the issue of economic growth and development, that's one of the key challenges that we, we face, as well as some of the social ills that we face. For instance, the scourge of gender-based violence. And as government, we also want to call upon men to stand up and not leave this. <laughs> 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 
Okay. I hope you will stop with me. I'm about to finish. The sketch of gender-based violence, we are saying to men, stand up. In fact, we won't defeat this until men stand up and say it is wrong to abuse women. That is a struggle that we must take together with women as men. The scourge of drugs and substance abuse, it's ravaging our communities. A lot needs to be done in order to be able to achieve that. Lastly, what I would like to say, Comrade Chris hated corruption. So does the ANC hate corruption, by the way. We do need to do all we can, all we can, to ensure that amongst other things, those who are implicated to have their hands dirty in the corporate capture of the state must be dealt with. And we must not allow them to use any excuses or any method to try and run away from accounting for these realities because the account of what we, we call state capture in this country, actually some of those actions amount to treason. And we, as a country, in honor of this hero, we must have our date in dealing with state capture and all those who were involved in it. With these words, Austimpo, on behalf of our government, once more we want to thank you for always as a family celebrating this day with the rest of South Africans. Thank you very much.
Thank you. I think truly today uh, the unity that we see displayed here indeed emulates the spirit of why we're here today. That brings us to the end of our government program. Those that wish to tour the gravesite will do so after the political program. The political program um, is going to be led by Comrade Tulas Ngaisi, who is no longer the minister here, but the deputy national chairperson of the SACP. Once more, I wish to thank you for allowing me this opportunity to run the government program for you. That then my sister says I am a lady, like a metagal quid. of time we all know what Comrade Krishnani was standing for we all experienced the pain of his brutal murder which was a big plan not a plan by individuals, a big plan from somewhere. And I was the poor, you are right. We want answers. And we'll continue demanding answers. Who was involved? We are here to commemorate that great man, that communist, that socialist, that soldier, the people's leader. Comrades, 
Let me pay the respect to Austin Bob. And also recognize all the leaders, starting with the African National Congress, the SG, and all leaders at different levels, which is the leader of this alliance. Going to the SACP led by its General Secretary. The National Chairperson is here. No more the Minister now. The National Chair of the Communist Party. And all the leaders at different levels of the Communist Party. The COSATU leadership led by Comrade Mike, who is the first deputy president of Kosat. The comrades from Sanko. <coughs> but we must recognize all other political leaders from the different parties who are here with us. As protocol has indicated, we recognize the ministers who are here. But we must also acknowledge the members of the diplomatic corps from the different countries were with us. But the masses of our people who on an annual basis come here, Ufana Noba says, Kuku enap, Ayaza says, Kuku. Jola. Ugo wa es Kuku. Aza es Kuku enige am. Kwenze luka so sambu luk. So that when they emerge from here, they are more revolutionary to take this struggle forward, especially at this critical period. So the program have been given strict instructions, very strict instructions, which I'm going to respect. And the speaker, the speaker, of a ruling has also added to me that don't forget the instructions which were given. So we're going to have one hour for this program. Because by one o'clock, in fact, it says by 1240, we must be out. I'm going to be very strict when it comes to the speakers. We have only three speakers. Only three. It's Kosatu, I think it's Comrade Mike Shingane, and then will be followed by the message from the African National Congress delivered by the SG, Comrade Mbalula. Then we will have the main remarks by the General Secretary of the Communist Party, Comrade Mapaila, that's all. Then we will have the closing remarks by Comrade Tongi. It ends there. It is like Kuba Gengolo show. Comrades, as the Kosatu speaker is preparing herself, I mean himself, Anim Fusen Gengo.
Mandla. Mandla. Matla. Karuna. All power. Aluta. Matimba. Manda. Long live the memory of Chris Ani. Long live. Viva the SCP. Viva. Viva ANC. Viva. Viva Kosato. Viva. Viva Sanko. Viva. Forward to socialism. Forward. Down with capitalism. Down. Project Director, the National Deputy Chairperson, the General Secretary of the South African Communist Party, Comrade Soli, the SG of the ANC, Comrade Fiele. Let me greet your constituencies and your executive comrades that are here, to the family of Comrade Chris Meruna Mpohane. Let me greet the leadership of the city of Eguruleni and uh, the entire protocol that it observe. I greet comrades on behalf of our president, Comrade Zingi Isa, at whose behalf I have an honor to address this important commemoration of our stalwart Comrade Kisan. I equally greet on behalf of the Central Executive Committee the entire membership and affiliates of the Federation of Elijah Bahai. Comrades, we have gathered to, today to solemnly commemorate the 31st anniversary of the untimely passing of our revered comrade, Comrade Martin Temisile Chris Hani. And as we pay homage to his memory, we find ourselves at the critical conjuncture today as we meet here. It was today years ago when that tragic bullet that ended his life was triggered. And this bullet sparked anger, sparked outrage, sparked anxiety on the South African nation, but also a whole lot of loss to all of us as South Africans. A racist full of hatred and prejudice came into the country in collusion with other races like Clive Debbie Lewis to brutally end a life that was key champion and a true revolutionary that was keeping a momentum that would have given birth to the new and democratic South Africa we live in today. It is our view that this was not an accident, that Chris Hani was targeted and his life ended at the, at the critical moment of the South African struggle, which was aimed or it was aimed at derailing and defeating the aims and the, of the National Democratic Revolution itself. This is in particularly important in the context of the African experience or end precedences. The cases of Thomas Sankara and Pugina Faso, the case of Togo, the case of Herbert Chipezo in Zimbabwe, in, in, in Zimbabwe, all of these are an example of a, a strategy of an imperialist to derail in African revolution and liberation. Today, we commemorate Comrade Chris Hani with these examples and this tragic day that happened on our shores to the US 31st years ago, whereas we're celebrating 30 years of our democracy. This is a democracy that the imperialist, the racist, those who even today miss apartheid will not have wanted us to celebrate. As we celebrate, Comrade Chris Hane, we remember that which he fought for and tragically sacrificed his life for. A better life for all, the health for the elderly, a quality life for the ill, the, the, the water for the rural poor, jobs for the unemployed, and quality and free education. We remember that he fought for peace in the country he fought for peace and stability in the continent. He fought for peace in the world. He fought for the, for the unitary state of our nation. He fought our non, for non-racialism. He fought for the unity of South African people. These ideals, this progressive agenda that he stood for, that he was killed for, is today 
at the critical juncture have been reversed. And indeed, we're celebrating Freedom Day a few days to come from now. We're celebrating 30 years of the democracy, a few days to come now. But this democracy, like many in African continent, it seems to be reversed by those who think that we cannot govern ourselves for over two decades. We had a verge of celebrating three decades, but we had a verge of being taken back to where we come from. That's why as a federation, in our analysis of the state of the national democratic revolution today, and also in commemorating Comrade Chris Hani, we have no doubt that he would have wanted his ideas to be defended. His ideas are not going to be defended by a barrel of a gun or a violent state or a violent political parties, but are going to be defended on the ballot pay box. These ideas, these progressive agendas are facing regressive and the counter-revolutionary agendas on the ballot papers, and he would have wanted all of us to ensure that the, uh, his ideas are defended and approved. So as a federation, we're calling all workers, we're calling all South Africans, indeed on the 29th of May to go and vote, complete the demand, and vote the African National Congress. He was the General Secretary of South African Communist Party. He was the Mkonto Sees, the commander. And therefore, he was an epitome of the alliance. He was the most, one of the most popular leaders in the country <coughs> after Nelson Mandela. And armed with these struggles, or stra these uh, credentials, he was feared that he will take over one day this leadership of the country and probably declare socialism. And that's one of the reasons why he will have killed. Today we've got no doubt that they will want us to continue in a forward march towards attaining the logical conclusion of the NTR, which is a, is a society where there's no oppression of men by another man. We have no doubt that we will have wanted this movement of Nelson Mandela and Oliver Tambu to renew, to unite, to strengthen itself. We have no doubt that we have wanted an alliance as led by the ANC to be united. He will have not chosen a party over the ANC. He will not have chosen the ANC over the party or Sanko over Cosato. He will have wanted the liberation movement to unite. He will have wanted the, the, the revolutionary alliance to triumph even on the ballot paper, but more importantly to continue the championing of the ideals of transforming the life of our people. We therefore say, comrades, not only must we emerge victorious on the elections, but we must defeat the agenda of those who miss apartheid to a point where they invite their former colonial masters to come in South Africa and dictate how the elections must be run. We must also defeat the, the backward agenda that threatened violence in the, in, during the elections. We must also defeat those who are against the fact that people of South Africa must receive universal health care coverage, whereby they see people who are sick as a profit-making market. When people are sick, that's where they think their business must boom. We must for, therefore defend the idea of the national health insurance. And Comrade uh, Chair, as I end, we hope that the, the General Secretary of the party will help us to donate or to do a crowdfunding for us to find a proper pen for the President of the country to sign the national health insurance in place. So that we can quickly know who is opposed to it in terms of litigation, so that we can deal with those who oppose it now and once and for all. Rather than to speculate that some people are going to take us to court, it's better we know who is against national health insurance now. It's better we know who does not want our people to receive free and universal quality health care now. And we are making a call as a federation from this podium of Chris Hani when he declared that socialism is not big words, but socialism is about health. Socialism is about quality life for the elder. Socialism is shelter and water. And that's what even the National Health Insurance is representing. Therefore, we must attend it at Amanda.
Comrades, thank you, comrades. Thank you, comrades. Of that revolutionary song and that slogan, and the comrades, it's clear that Chris Ani. Charismatic as he was, that leader, with very significant support amongst the anti apartheid youth. Those were the youth at the time. They were enjoying this slogan. But at the time of his death, which some are not aware of, Comrade Chris Ani was declared as the most popular leader after Madiba. Maybe that's why he was killed. Maybe that's why he was killed. But we still want those answers. This was an ANC soldier, an ANC leader. Um Konto was a leader in the trenches. He was able to lead both the ANC and the Communist Party. Even if, even if there were contradictions, he was able to deal with the issues of those contradictions. By the way, contradictions are not always negative. Some of the contradictions are necessary. Some of those tensions, so that we can be able to grow into the next stage. By those few words, I'm trying to introduce the ANC leader, Comrade S.G. Umbalu. The ANC has a chance, the ANC has a chance, I think one get in. Amanda, 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 long live the spirit of uh, Tembisile, long live. Long live the spirit of Chris, long live. Long live the spirit of Choyana, long live. Amanda. Kina Hani family, Kina. Kina, Ausdimpo, Kina. 
Viva South African Communist Party, viva! Viva! Viva SACP, viva! Viva! Viva ANC, viva! Viva! Viva Kosatu, viva! Viva! Viva Sanko, viva! Viva! Zoitola Ganja! Telekone! 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 Let's do more together. Let's do more together. Let's do more together. Let's do more together. Pata Ramaposa Pata Pata Ramaposa Pata Pata ANC Pata Pata ANC Pata Kokela ANC Kokela Thank you very much Program Director Putulas Uputom Dalu Teacher Omku U Principal Mugwake How's Dimpo? What in the Bafazi? What in Dimpo? Uzago Far Finish and Clark Ozdimpo and Ntumele Kulewe Butemba Piluzaruna Really African National Congress Uwani Barime Utsarati Pagawa Lingo Fasa Tarigan Fred Rebona Uwe Namuri Dilimonte Kaufela Teudi Pizzi Usiwe Gumratua Katela tese ndi salusi tete ridi tivanga ufela Relewa tuwa Afrika burwa Untu emi utile ulime ulime ulimu itaupi Untu enyaru na atukulu Yuali ba tuwana nluena Abasa liti Arvina pinariri Ba tuwana nluena Abasa liti Riribui Risa Ritanza Kabo mewaru na batu anandwe. Yuali mewaru na kiri. Utie ube yualo. Utibe uri. Rinalue na kana kutusu. We are with you. The family of the Nkobi family. Present here today. The general secretary of the South African Communist Party. The home. Political home ideologically of comrade Chris Hani. The General Secretary of the Communist Party, Comrade Solima Paila, representing the party here, and all party cadres and members, representatives of government, Minister of Higher Education and Training, Science and Innovation, Comrade Blayton Zimande. Uh, I'm happy you clarified your standing here, otherwise, there was going to be big trouble. Uh, but nonetheless, you have clarified that uh, you have been sent by, deployed by the president. Now, because the president is still alive, and uh, he couldn't have sent somebody to act on his behalf to an occasion. So as a disciplined cadre, you had to clarify that point. But I understood the program director is the speaker uh, of Eguru Lane. So she had to misinterpret protocol because they've never been in government. So, <laughs> so uh, speak and debate, she managed to get her away. So if 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 you were in government, you would have understood that there is no such protocol as acting president. But uh, representatives and the premier of uh, uh, provincial government. And also thank uh, the speaker of uh, and the acting uh, mayor of Ekuruleni and the, all the councillors and all political parties in Ekuruleni. Former mayors of Ekuruleni, uh, Comrade Ntombi Mekwe, Comrade Montri Kungubele and Mzwandi Lemasina. Comrade, we want to thank the uh, Ekuruleni government for really uh, embracing this occasion and this day. 
and I want us to really give them a good round of applause. Um, irrespective of politics and political affiliation and so on, you comrades have come together to honor Comrade Chris. You are not only doing it for yourself, you are doing it for generations to come. And uh, we really thank you for that. A Deputy Minister of Defense, uh, Comrade Tabang Makwetla, a uh, present year, High Commissioner of the Republic of Zambia, Her Excellency Ms. Mazuba Penadin Monze, High Commissioner of the Kingdom of Lesotho, His Excellency Mr. Ntime Jafeta, Ambassador of the People's Republic of China uh, in absentia, represented here by Minister Councillor Comrade Liu Kaya, and uh, Whip of Council in the city of Eguruleni, Alderman Jongizizu Labati, as well as uh, the convener of the ANC in Eguruleni, uh, Comrade Dr. Takaza. We are confused about the Mandela doctor sometimes. It's not doctor way to up. And all members of the ANC and the Alliance, the leaks represented here, and all dignitaries are present here today. Comrades, Comrade Tulas, the program director, have said, when we come to this place, it's a sacred place. It's a sacred place because Chris Ani was one person who was known for the truth. And when we come here, every year we come to give account. And whenever we come here, every year there are new developments. And we give account about ourselves, the ANC, his party, we give account about our ascendancy to power and the incumbency. What does it mean for us? What are the challenges that we face? We give account about what is around us politically in our environment. And in doing so, comrades, we do so uh, with humility and uh, to the best of our ability, giving an account to a person who was truthful and honest to the revolution. You know, when we are still alive, and it is fashionable among us today to call each other Kaida Commander, many other titles. Now, isn't this is the linking and Jesus? Who forget you? Who be the commander? Who forget you? Hey, commander, who's busy? That is the commander. You see, comrades, because words like Kaida are very special. A Kaida is somebody who have seen it all, at least from the front. It's like from the rank of the police or the army. You can't be a general if you have not undergone particular processes. A Kaida is a special person. That's why, in humility, we call ourselves activists, because we are all activists. So we can change and become something else. Even heroes can become villains. But the revolutionary is somebody when he's no more. We say that comrade was a revolutionary. And that is why we talk, when we talk about Chris, we talk about somebody we know in terms of deeds and actions, that he was indeed a revolutionary to the end, and that's Chris Hart. Me and you, we can call ourselves that revolutionary when we are a bit tipsy <laughs> in the middle of the night. When we are together and we have had something to drink and we look at each other, we say, I'm a revolutionary, <laughs> There's no revolution there. It's just that you are at another level. <laughs> You are not a revolutionary. Tomorrow you will have forgotten everything else. You will be something else. We see those things. They happen. Has it not happened to you, comrades? That when you argue somewhere in some place, you call each other revolutionaries. A revolutionary is not a word of self-praise. It's, it's what you are. And you will be told about it when you are no more. You can't tell Malula that is the best of the best. Even if whatever he is, you can't. You'd never tell your own comrade that is the best of the best. You can only thank him for contribution. But the revolutionary is not something that you do, is what you live in deed and uh, in action. 
And that is the person we are about to talk about here, a comrade Krisan. And those who want to rewrite history, they must go and read what Nelson Mandela said in his own defense at the talk uh, during Rivonia trial uh, on the origins of Umkondo Wesizwe as a formation of the ANC and the, and the SACP. Krizani comrades was the chief of staff of Umkondo Wesizwe. He led the arms wing of the ANC formed in conjunction with the South African Communist Party. And this fact must be amplified against the lies currently being told about the formation of MK. Krizani would have been proud of the continued unity, Comrade Soli, of the alliance as a united front to advance the national democratic revolution. The unity of peoples in the alliance as characterized by the complete support for an ANC electoral victory. He would have been among the programs Krizani would have advanced and championed. And of course, he would not have been happy with the fragmentation of the working class through creation of parallel trade union federations, which has the potential to give space to forces of counter-revolution. He would have advanced for the unity of the working class. Comrades, the intent of his assassination was to derail the negotiations process and unleash a bloody civil war. But to the disappointment of the forces of reaction, instead his death became a catalyst towards being, towards agreeing on election date and accelerating the very revolution they sought to subvert. Those who killed him wanted to stall our forward momentum. The murder was therefore a calculated move to undermine the national democratic revolution by through the country into by throwing the country into unprecedented chaos. If Nelson Mandela was an anarchist, was an opportunist, he did not have direction, the revolution was leaderless. Leaders would have cried with the masses on the streets and not provided leadership. Nelson Mandela stood in front of television and said, we proceed. And that time the country was burning. We all wanted anything to confront the enemy. Anything was enemy before us. The leadership stood and said, because they understood that Killing Chris was deliberate because they wanted to derail the project of the National Democratic Revolution. They didn't want us to succeed, to be where we are today. Chris Ani would have therefore been shocked and disappointed to know that some today have elected to dispute the historical fact that MK was formed by the ANC and the SACP as an armed wing of the ANC. You know, comrades, when we go to court and defend, some of you speak and say, why do you do that? You are giving somebody a time. We're defending legacy. Legacy that was not created by us. That Chris Hani died and was killed because of that legacy. The South African Communist Party, the ANC and the formation of Mkonto Wesis. <coughs> We are not against anyone forming a political party or standing on his own. We are not against that. We're defending our legacy. After all, we've seen it all since 1994. This party is not the, it's not the first. There have been some and they've failed. Others are folding quietly and coming back. And they are not coming back making noise. Bias, boo, ya betul, utibana nomter, e, 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 PGM. Awiaz noba uguyenin, umanum chonga, utijeki. When did this one now come back? But they folded. Have we ever fought any formation of a political party? No. When we raise, revolution is not about convenience, it's about principle. Convenience means. You forgo what belongs to you for the sake of it. 
and then you leave it as part of the legacy and then you say no let it go and then uh, you say no comrades uh, let it go because it doesn't belong to you these properties um is a communist party and everything as they belong to the nc they don't belong to an individual and that is why they must be protected we are not against anybody please let's engrave it in our minds for any intents and purposes and that is what is important people have got their own reasons why they form political parties the resident party is formed because somebody is aggrieved about something or about somebody and we have said that and we repeat it again leaders come and go but the anc must remain We don't follow an individual, we follow the ANC. Yes. And that is what is important. <laughs> Ramaphosa is the president of the ANC and will be defended by the ANC. Yes. And that is why he is embraced by the masses of our people everywhere where you go. Bayam Tandu Ramaphosa. But Abanyi but Bayam Tanda for different reasons. We were not betting a 250 or a 350. <laughs> <laughs> But Bam Tanda for different reasons. But Ramaphosa himself understand it is not me. It is the party I lead. The same as it happened with Zuma. With difficulties he had, we defended him. The same as Mbeki, we defended him. The same as Nelson Mandela. All their weaknesses became our weaknesses. Their strengths became our strength. Their success became our success. There's never been a revolution that was waged by an individual. Today, when Plate lives with success, it's not going to say, Yindoyamlia. You leave it behind because you served the ANC better, and we celebrate that. You leave us with NSFAS. When you leave us with NHI, it is ANC that has given you the mandate, and you have implemented the correct mandate of the ANC. Chris Hani, would have celebrated that. So comrades, we must disabuse ourselves as we celebrate this giant. I'm speaking about this because this giant, Chrisan, Upra Chris, Uchonyana, Uput Chris to us who are younger, a commander to NK soldiers, a chief of staff, a commissar, a general secretary, a communist, this comrade was something else. I I know you know, comrades. He assorted. from one to eight. Comrades, organization, I found you on the Even if they win, we know that we must go and convince the people to vote for the NC. Ninga ila hilo onto funeka kuyo sekenzo ni asebenza ma volunteer. Nina ni zaubu iseli ANC back into power. Ningo tuki comrades in John Jogu ninga buyumva. You must never go backward. On this day, when we commemorate this giant, we must tell him and say, Chris, our revolution has never been perfect. It has gone to its own weaknesses. Um Zabala Zoe too, Esinga Awonanam Tanje has not been perfect. Ozdimpo, you are correct. Mistakes were made. And we learn from those mistakes. We don't only learn, but we want to undo those mistakes. As we go to our people today and ask them to vote for us, we know what we have done. Uchaba, Lunge, Nile, the enemy tells a, a story to our people that we did nothing. But comrades, our track record speaks for itself. <laughs> Comrades, 
Kona makaban ama puta abe kona. Aba benza i political party basi kupa entele na sna i opposition kule kanti. Uzuma usifagela njaman zentli ni jes chonga ni na. Kodwa kulungi le kunja lo kuraid. Kuraid upemba fana wenz indwe raid yena. Kodwa si amkale la mtom kuda i koraid le indwe nza. And uh, as you look at the social media manifesto, it. Go back to my good boy, I am Zinyan. The manifesto is to let the cars on the comrade plate up. The revolution is about to be banned on the school way. It is in the attack. And as you can see, the revolution is to be banned on the more than good teacher, go quack the minister. More than five million abandoned about Kamli le ku NFS. Say change chala NFS first. From Iskim so bole ki sangi maliku abandoned ana sayenzi bazar. Abandoned ana ba funda mahala ha. Queen Maggi esina zoma kavani and many other challenges that we've got in the health system today. Ubu ne Maggi apa besina yo abandube. Bebulawa itiwan, sange nelen, sailungi salot, goku kutwa impilo inde fo abantu bagut, akomtu ambe pupa njeli itiwan, e South Africa, uyai fuma na umeto, kuitliniki, ukulumetu ya intervin, yata bantu bebulawa inde ala kuelkan, sange nelen, sa expand the social security net in the country. Let 350 say I transform and works for me and I basic income grant. And then let me feel it. You know, comrades, if I didn't go to the fund, I would have opposition. I would have to go to the price of the song. But the song is 20 rand. But staple, staple fruit, I mean food, in South Africa is zero rated. Right? It's zero rated. I manifesto ye tu apo siya kona siti magupeli so i vet kui essentials. You don't see choy yo le. Abanto ba ni inse South Africa. Iska kulu abanto ba acha abasevens. But our program of job creation, we say it must not end with 35. It must go beyond that. And that is what we say. And then we say in the next five years we will create 2.5 million jobs. I don't know Milan is based on experience. It is costed and it is something that is going to happen. My government, if you no lose the power up as Tommy Zikoyo's part, what is coming in this country's boom? Zatuma. Kulaminya giza Sibule way covet abafun is tetting eye. Yasibu is a lumva. Kota siluid. Upuma blow covet. Salwa ne vaccine abantwaya ajua batini batini sapuma gulono. Sikokelo angulo ramaposa. Sikokelo ile African National Congress. So uput Chris Kasteta na ya city. Wezi kona izi ndobe kufunega si zenze ngo kaoleza. If besa besbe nesbi indi soku zenze zo zinto gesi kute. But it doesn't mean we cannot do them. And we are going to do them now. The ANC of Krizan is still firm on internationalism. We are with the people of Palestine. Si sotwa, abantu bayabulawa e Gaza. We are standing with the Communist Party and all the progressive forces in our country. Led by President Ramaphosa, we went to ICJ, what? Not in our name, stop it. And we are still marching on. We are still marching on in terms of our internationalism in the country, I mean in the world. And that is where the ANC is. ANC, I got Jiggy Makaba. And we are strengthening it. That is why we are with our friends here from China. I was with the Chinese Communist Party yesterday. We are with our friends in the African continent. The ANC now has been given a big role to lead the liberation movement in the African continent. And in the African continent, our friends from Swapo to Freluma, they say, we will never abandon the ANC because we know what is the ANC to us. 
And even up north and in the east, they are with the African National Congress. So comrades, as we remember, Chris Hani, we need to march forward in unity. We need to march forward and ensure that all the things that the ANC is supposed to do are done and we lead from the front. And then we mobilize our people because the biggest enemy is if our people don't come out in their numbers to vote. Our opponents have run out of steam. When we resolve load shedding, I saw them this morning arguing on television, no, this load shedding intervention is temporary. And then it will go to stage 16. Hey, after elections. Now they are bringing Swart Hefar. They are by about two cell about going at the appeal and you let your load shedding. Also, the portrait full of load shedding was got at the housework. Retroy Bulaya, Nyan, Nyan, Nyan. By the way, by Bulay, load shedding, Basai Bulaya, but Teola Chalete Garikaus Muson Guahutu, a Chalete Lifunia Fed, we get it of her. You are. Government, step aside. And if you are innocent, you will come back. But the time when a comrade is arrested for corruption and then we wear t-shirts, go to court and sing freedom songs. It's over in the ANC. It's over. I now be peeing the ANC. I can get the ANC. I can own the phone and I'm 12. See how about God's job about that? Comrades who have parted ways. Some of our comrades who are disciplined are staying at home uh, and all step aside. And there are others who are very good. It is very painful to see your own comrades being arrested for craft. It's very painful. Like I am doing nandi. Ugu tuba na makaba ne banjwa kut be cholo and is cholo and all of that. It's not nice. Even na uzuma ngoge be banjwa pa. Inclusive is to be zip flungu boni kregoling and trungu. Yes, unga vuela we nutata wa kenge nange overall. Worst of all, a freedom fighter. In the netrong way, and got twelve feet soup, and then Ibanjo pine all of that. As not like he alone. I come to sing face the movie. I ain't see I long enough to. I saw the silhouette enough to team. Tina comrades, let's save our people. Silhouette Ubutan. And as I conclude, silhouette Ubutan, and unite our organization, and we live amongst our people. I'm a cancel away to Makabe Pakati Kwabantu. We cannot lose power. You know, here in the group, lady comrades, we've got how many wards? We've got 78 wards out of how many? 112. It is 70%. But government is not controlled by us. Singos Nazela, says I must stand out, Nagos over all of them, stand on up, stand on up. See, I treat you. What was it? I got a good to me, a Funaki Bangubani, but you are in majority. Funaka Sioka and Ganisnik and Ume. I see a two man one so daughter. So I didn't have a good to buy them, Messitan, no tongue and a word. See, I'm telling a house Nipu may and for you. You know why, comrades, travesty of justice. I'm concluding. You are controlling 70 constituencies that you are servicing. The people in those constituencies want ANC service delivery. But you don't control power to service those people. And they don't understand why. Because they're in the concern. The power that you are supposed to have, legitimately so, I equal passage because our people did not come out and vote in their numbers. If ANC drop below 15 decorna, I'm prepared to work with you. But Tina will be out of power, it's fine. Gulo buyers funa petal great. 
Yeah, but police are saying that we are not But the leaders are going to be coalition. I call coalition capacity. Three channel law man, I call cookies out there. Comrades, we have never won election on a silver platter. We win election by working hard. In the next 50 days, one person to a person. Kukulana bantu abantu bayana fake so masiene bantu in. Let's stop talking to ourselves. No ba iamba apesante nzee to land. So did you guys come here and say that we have a power? If we are not what does this power means? In a guru le, yeah, in a guru le, we've got seventy words. Seventy-eight. This is controlled. This is government cancelled. I'm a cancellor. We try to bear to pay a band. But the cancellor is not power. Who may or may not? Who speak? Who level up? And then, Nina, Nina, Nia, Kaa, Panje. What do you know? What is this seventy? I'm a Tony. Pin on Tony. Power. What do you do? I'm a one to have a masbat. Tony. Pin no. Cause ban king kishel. No, go back for hotel when I band. I was standing, no stand. Two. How about you know? But you know. Austin Poe, I went to Port Elizabeth. I negotiated there with people with two seats in the council from 11 midnight till 5 a.m. The Tetan and the Born again, the only thing I saw to tell I on a ghost cars were the car. It happened him. As is a Gunika Lento, it is a high high. Take it or leave it in Fegas. Not to the Tetan, I will sit a one. The Amkanga and a Yanikan, I'm telling you, here I'm a pound. Despite the fact you put it in a bunch of fifty. Na, yeah, no, you want it, Jad. Take it or leave it in that. There are others who want me also elsewhere. So, coalitions, comrades. It's not something that has to be celebrated. The reason you see portals in Johannesburg, Austin Port, is coalitions. It's coalitions because you don't have anyone to. When Masondo was running Jopeg, Monty Kungubele was running Ekulen, and uh, Pakistan was running Jopeg, you knew where to go. Today we are going. Can you go any progress? And then cancel deteriorate. Tomorrow you are going to have a new mayor. After five days, there's another motion of no confidence. Services are not moving yet. Coalitions have not rewarded our people, but coalitions, comrades, are a product of an election. Yeah. And we can't blame it on anybody. Yeah. But we must blame it on ourselves for not going out to talk to our people. So, Masiene Bantu in Makaba and Mutu Mutu. And goes in the Abulela Utim, the Communist Party. Mansa! Viva the ANC, viva! Viva the ANC, viva! Thank you, comrades. In the interest of time, comrade. Uh, comrade, uh, uh, comrade, uh, comrade, uh, comrades. In the interest of time, from Tofim Fava to Love Day, from Love Day to the University of Forte, then from there, migrant worker, from there to exile, working for the ANC and the Communist Party playing different roles. 
By the way, this was also at some stage a young lion fighting like the lion lions which we had. As in even go go as Jesus can see, support and Jay Gate Lelegate Carlos and was gloom. I'm not going to waste our time. But let me also recognize the premier of Gauteng. Oi, oi, Gauteng, oi, oi. Oi, oi, Nasi Spani. That's the way we're recognizing you, Comrade Panyaza. We did get your apology that uh, you had been deployed somewhere. But now we are having the last speaker after... I mean, we're having this speaker and then we will close. Um, Comrade Solima Paila. Long live the SACP, long live. Long live. Long live Chris Arnie, long live. Long live. Long live the ANC, long live. Long live. Long live the ANC, long live. Long live. Long live Cosato, long live. Forward to socialism, forward. Forward. Down with capitalism, down. Down. Long live Sanko, long live. Program Director, Comrade Tulas Nessi, our Deputy National Chair, thank you very much for the time. Let me greet first Ausdiumpo, Auswarona, Auswama Komonis, Enake Lifelong, Li Familia Augaufela, good doctor and all your family members not present here. Could you maybe say all officials of the SACP led by our national chair, Comrade Blake in Zimande, Comrade Joyce Muloy Moropo, our national treasurer, Comrade Madara Masuko, our first deputy general secretary, members of our central committee and our provincial secretary, Gauteng, Comrade Mama Bulo, as well as our newly elected district secretary, who is experiencing this event for the first time from a party mobilization perspective. I can say, Tempsilo, you have passed with flying colors. Well done. <laughs> Let me also greet the Ngobi family, the family of our esteemed uh, Treasurer General of the African National Congress. A Zimbabwean national by birth, but a committed revolutionary of the South African Revolution to the end. His children were with us in the Liberation Army, the Glorious People's Liberation Army, Mkondo Sizu. And greet the leadership of the ANC, led by Secretary General Comrade Blade Nzima. Uh, oh. <laughs> There's only, there's only one Secretary General in the country of political parties. Others, or one General Secretary, others are Secretary Generals. So my apologies in this regard. And great Comrade Figil and Balula, the SG of the African National Congress. 
all members of the NEC of the ANC present here and the provincial chair of the ANC, Comrade Banyaza Lisubu is also premier of our province. The activist premier. For what they got. Yeah, I'm not really moved. Let me then also greet, recognize the provincial sector of the ANC, Comrade Neza, and the leadership of the ANC in the, in the region, Comrade Kagaza, Comrade Doctor. And greet the leadership of Kosatu, led by Deputy President Mike Shingange, the fighting shock steward. And recognize all government officials, senior government officials, ministers and deputy ministers, Minister Gungubele, Deputy Minister Taba Magweta, Commissar of our Liberation Army, Umkonto Wesizu. And recognize various embassies present here today, the embassy of the People's Republic of China, Comrade Liu Kayang as well as his delegation, and recognize the High Commissioner of Zambia, Ms. Bernadine Monze, and appreciate once more the great contribution of our former headquarters of the African National Congress in exile, Lusaka, and recognize the High Commissioner of Lesotho, His Excellency Ntime Jafeta, Ralebo and Tato Beteng Mona for the first time. Bali Sutu, let's catch a little trailer about Beteng Mona. Ujo is a Prime Minister, Ralebo and Tato Beteng Mona. Nelu refile na ama Nelu Sutu, Ritu Lela, Ronald Operation Mono. Yam Konto Wesizu, ya ANC. Comrade Chris Zane once was the Chief Rep of the ANC, right there in Lesotho. And recognize as well, comrade, the representative of the Russian embassy, Ms. Polina Golagova, that great country, Russia, under the Soviet Union, trained our comrades, including Commander Chris and many others. Today itself, Russia is at the center together with China to defend the new world order and to advance the new world order. These are at the prime. And therefore, our relationship with these countries, as we have been punished by the U.S. imperialists and Western imperialists in Europe because of our relationship with these countries, we will never forgo our friends to please the imperialists and colonialists who have oppressed us over centuries. <laughs> Allow me, Program Director, once more, because my protocol is long, to greet Councillors here in Ekruleni, my home city. That's where I was born. And that's why in this district, in this region, when things don't go well, it affects me personally. And I'm glad, SG, you are talking towards resolving this question of the ANC leadership of this region in council. The ANC must lead or be the opposition. We should not be subjected to ill treatment of our people when we are the majority. This region produced more matthias at the hour of liberation than any other region in this country. Followed, of, of course, by KZN, in particular, the Eben Marisberg region. Therefore, the ANC here, when it's humbled by the masses, by not electing them to lead officially, they must be the opposition and tell the masses that you have humbled us. Go and correct their ills and come back to lead. So the ANC must lead, Comrade Banyazi, here in this region. Let me, therefore, greeting the, the Council of Ekruleni start by greeting the Speaker of Council, Untabi Singh, as well as the, the Whip of Council, Comrade uh, Jongisizwe, Dabati, 
from the African National Congress. Of course, greet Reverend Mapatwe. That's our chaplain, the people's chaplain. The chaplain of Mkonto Esizu. The chaplain of the Communist Party. The chaplain of the ANC. That's our chaplain there. And we appreciate your presence all the time, chaplain. Sometimes not born utu ukona, but biza abanyi bafundi is basos tandazela. Say vuma yongi mtana zebu ya goyongi nda. Koto asina wo abafundi si abakakeshwa yiti abe tu. He's from theology school himself. So say bonga kutu we kona, nguli so bonga abafundi si abakona. And all our traditional leaders that have joined us. And greet the National Secretary of our Young Communist League, Comrade Nzwandi Letaguli, and all the youth leadership present here. And greet all councillors and political parties in Council of April Lane. And recognize Commander Dan Hatu, the convener of Umkonto Wesizwe Liberation War Veterans, for which today I'm wearing its combat. As I recognize equally all former mayors of our great city, Comrade Ndombi Mekwe, they are my great sister and comrade. Comrade Monzi Gungubele, I need your warrior dome. Monzi, yes, we need your warrior dome. Uh, don't be overcome by government program. The people of this region, of this city, were with you in the front line, together with Comrade Chris. When you arrived in this region, you were like this, together with you, reorganizing this region to defend itself and to fight against apartheid. Yakfuna the region. Comrade Mzwadi Masina, and all Comrade present here, all protocol observes, observed, those that I've missed out. My sincere apologies. My protocol was too long, as is always, and I'm not allowed to skip this protocol. To summarize our message, comrades, is to start by saying that our revolution is in deep crisis. It's facing a monumental challenge. As we celebrate and recognize the living legacy of our great General Secretary, Commander of Umkonto Wesizwe, the Glorious People's Liberation Army, Chief of Staff, Commissar Krizan, who was tragically assassinated by the bullets of apartheid and colonialism, by the bullets of criminals. On April 10, 1993, this assassination was planned to stop our country's transition from apartheid to democracy. Democracy which itself is not freedom, but it's a road to freedom. In other words, when we achieve democracy, we achieve the power of the people to transform their lives. Sometimes we misconstrue this notion that democracy is freedom. Democracy is the road to freedom. And that road itself must be protected. At this hour in our revolution, democracy is under threat. Our own freedom, therefore, is under threat. These assassins also were opposed to advance, to see our society advancing towards socialism. In their own ways, they said they targeted Krizani because he was a communist. Of course, Krizani was a revered leader of the working class. He certainly had a greater leadership role to play in a democratic South Africa, which he dedicated his entire life for. When the assassins killed him in cold blood, they also stole the life of the, to, from the Hani family, a husband from Austin, a father, an uncle, you name it all, a family man, because Chris Hani, as a great family man. As the SACP, we have consistently been with the Ani family in the fight for justice 
on, the, on this case for over 31 years. We were with the family throughout the assassin's trial. We were with the family from the TRC period. We will always be with the family. We were with the family until the assassins were convicted. They were sentenced to death. But before, because this movement recognized the right to life, these assassins were spared their lives. Their capital punishment was therefore committed to life imprisonment. We equally stood with the Hani family to appeal when the assassins appealed their conviction and their sentences. We won all those processes until they, are, they went to the Constitutional Court where we were disappointed, we were unsuccessful. They were released. The other one was released on medical parole. And when he was released, Clive W. Lewis, he recorded a video which he released, he said must be released after his death, where he said if given another opportunity, he will do it again. Our institutions don't even play it, our media. On the contrary, they've been condemning us and the Hani family for being unforgiving. How do you forgive somebody who's not remorseful, who doesn't want to tell the truth? We are still seeking the truth even now. That is why we have said we now want an inquest. And Minister played in Zimbabwe on behalf of government. Today we know that this message will arrive where it's supposed to go. The SACP is requesting government to initiate an inquest on all circumstances leading to the death of our General Secretary, Commander Krizan. We are asking you to convey this message to government. We have even collected signatures, online signatures. After this assassin, the last assassin was the, the actual assassin, Janus Walus, was released on the basis of the Constitutional Court judgment. And therefore, Krizani, what he died for, Austin Paul summarized it. Comrade Balula, as well as uh, Comrade Blade and Comrade Mike, spoke at length about this question. But I just want to highlight something critical in this regard. The negotiated settlement. Because it's important to understand the threat to our democracy and to our freedom and the consequence of the negotiated settlement. We had here not peace. We had unjust peace. In other words, as a consequence of the negotiated settlement, the victims of colonialism and apartheid, the victims of white minority rule, the victims of colonial capitalism in our country subjected themselves to an unjust process for the sake of peace because we wanted democracy in which we can gain political power in the hands of the majority who can then begin to transform their lives. That's what happened. Now, those we negotiated this unjust outcome with, that is why, by the way, the Communist Party called that period, the 1994 democratic breakthrough, as a consequence of Comrade Hani's death, when we demanded through President Nelson Mandela the African National Congress leading this process, the date for elections. This date for elections that we are now continuing with other elections is literally written with the blood of a communist martyr representing many other martyrs of our revolution who died for the freedom and democracy that we enjoy today. But with this consequence, comrade, those we negotiated with have betrayed the negotiations. Because ourselves, in the name of peace, we made compromises in this period. One of those compromises, for instance, well, let me put it this way. As commanders in war, 
When you defeat your enemy after a battle, Commissar Magwedi, you command a situational re report to understand what's happening, Commander Atu. This is our commander of Umkonto Esizu. When you command a situational report, you disarm first the enemy. In other words, you suppress all instruments of oppression of the enemy. That's why the first task is to disarm the enemy and have the enemy under your control. In that way, you can then unleash your own program. With the negotiated transition, we were not able to do that. The transition became long. We negotiated for too long, even when we were in government. Now, these negotiators, because they are treasurers in nature, have decided to betray this revolution. Now they want to take it from the back door. We will never allow this revolution to go astray. We will never allow this revolution to be stolen. And this time, they better be warned. We will never accept unjust settlement. That is why this revolution has to be defended. That is why the South African Communist Party, working together with its allies headed by the African National Congress, understand the immediate task that we face today to defend this revolution from counter-revolutionaries, both from inside and from outside, counter-revolutionaries from Europe and counter-revolutionaries from America, who are colluding to remove our liberation movement from political power. They are not even hiding this fact. Today, even the chief rabbi, who together at the time, after the assassination of Krizani and all other religious leaders, accepted and condemned the apartheid regime, today he calls for the ANC to be removed from political power. This is what we are dealing with. And this is what we must use the memory of Comrade Krizani to defend this revolution. When Comrade Hani died, there was massive outrage in this country. Mr. Hani Singh spoke about this as well. Massive outrage and discontent in our country. But our people, in their mobilization, little did the apartheid regime knew what they were doing. On his funeral, on the 19th of April, it was a stay away. Over 4 million people who stayed away from work to pay tribute to this gallant year of our liberation struggle. 2.5 million people participated in pickets and marches leading to his funeral across the country. That stay away was the biggest recorded in our country's history. His funeral became the biggest in our country's history. Why were the people responding this way to this hero, Krizan? Because he resembled, he was the epitome of the value system of our liberation struggle. What were this value system? This is what Comrade Krizani always spoke about. Many comrades, I clarify this question, for instance. But he said it very simply. He said, we will create work for the unemployed. But capitalism is incapable to create jobs for all the people. The state has to take responsibility for this particular task. And therefore, even the program of transformation of society itself is a program of the state. We cannot leave this in the hands of capital. At the same time, he said, we must build homes for the homeless. That's why he launched the campaign as General Secretary of the Communist Party, the Triple H campaign, Health, Hunger, Housing, a campaign to fight against hunger. Today, we still have hunger in this country when the big bosses, the capitalists, that subverted this democracy, still control the mineral wealth beneath the soil, still control huge resources at the stock exchange. The money in the stock exchange that is, that is in liquid form that should resolve the problem of this country. It's under the control of capitalists. And yet they have the guts to stand in public and say poverty is caused by government. Poverty is caused by capitalism. It must be said clearly. And you in government, stop taking responsibility on behalf of capital. 
Even the ruling party, our party, the Air African National Congress. Sometimes, Comrade Barula, I don't understand this thing. Why we take responsibility for the crisis of capitalism? When there's a crisis of capitalism, we must create a people state that actually subvert capitalism. And therefore, we take responsibility to lead society as a movement. There's nothing that says the state cannot develop and improve productive forces. Capital wants to create an impression that only itself can create and develop capacity for work, productive forces. No, we have a country here, here is comrade from, from China, comrade Kai, from the People's Republic of China, the most advanced economy in the world. They have ended abject poverty on behalf of 1.4 billion people, led by the Communist Party since 1949. Capital is under their political control. So here we have capital that assumes itself the political leader of society. There is no capital that can ever be the political leader of society. Capital must subvert itself to the political leadership of the elected government of a society. Post this election bugs, we are going to have a proper discussions about the reconfiguration of the alliance and about the political exercise of power. In the name of Comrade Pisa, we have brought here and throughout our country, our Red Brigades, who are campaigning for the African National Congress to defend this revolution and to defend the legacy of Comrade Chris. In this process, we are not signing a blank check. We are part of the working class. Our mission is to make revolution. We don't want to accompany anyone in the revolutionary program. Our mission is to make a socialist revolution in this country and suppress capitalism. We will achieve this objective at the moment, working on the terrain of the National Democratic Revolution with the African National Congress, Kosato, Sanko, and our democratic forces. We will do all of that together in this particular terrain. That's why we are in an alliance with the African National Congress to continue this process. But to the extent that poverty is still the way it is in our country, Aoudimpo spoke at length, for, for instance, about the cost of living crisis affecting the working class in our country. We have to assume responsibility. That is why we are humbling ourselves to our society, to our people. Bring back the African National Congress to political power in the country. Give it decisive majority. Because now the African National Congress is clear. Even those that we were thinking we are working with to stabilize even our economy using this language of the IMF have themselves betrayed the African National Congress, the imperialist forces. They will never forgive you. If you think post this election they are going to forgive you, never. They have taken a decision in the whole centers of America, in Washington, in London. They've taken this decision that this movement must be removed from political power. We are on our own, as we have been on our own. They were not there in the fight against apartheid. They were not there in the fight against colonialism because themselves were the colonizers. It is the socialist countries, Russia, China, Cuba, Laos and others, Vietnam, that were with us. So going forward, after this victory of 29th of May, we must be clear as a revolutionary movement. In the name of Comrade Krizan, our Red Brigades are named after Comrade Krizan, the Krizan Red Brigade for these elections. And we don't just loosely use the word of our General Secretary, Chief of Staff, and Commander of our Army, Comrade Krizan. We are not like other people who just use this name loosely. Krizan belongs to all the people of our country, the working class. Black and white, all people of our country. Austin Paul knows even this. We consult with her. Our red brigades are called the Krizani Red Brigade. We never fail in the memory of Comrade Chris. We do election work on a daily basis until the votes have been counted. This is the only way at this period in time, that we can actually give good honor 
to South Africa, South Africa's great warrior, Commander Hani. As you know, not going to go into his uh, biography. Many comrades have spoken about this. I want to send a last message respecting even the words said by Austin Paul, the last quote from Comrade Chris. Today I'm wearing the combat of the glorious people's army, Umkondwe Siswe, Commander Hatu. Come here. Commanders and commissars of Umkondwe Siswe, Isaiah, in combat. There's a member of the special force here, Commander Gap. He's not in combat. We can't call you Commander Gap. But he was in the special force. He fought in battles. He's the one of the unit, for instance, that defeated the apartheid regime. They downed one of their helicopters in uh, Makado. SABC must be doing documentaries about this struggle of our people. Because the public broadcaster, this revolution didn't just come for nothing. Now, comrades, the reason I'm wearing a combat today it's very important. One, after I went full time in the party, after I left the army, the integrated army, so African National Defense Force, which I integrated, integrated to 1995, because we came late here after democracy. When Comrade Chris was killed, we were in the camp. Commander Freddy. He's here, he's also in, uh, in, uh, in civilian clothes. We called him Ziki at the time, in our base. There, we were soldiers of Mkondewe Siswe. We took an oath under military instruction when we joined Mkondewe Siswe. When we joined Mkondewe Siswe, Comrade SG of the African National Congress, you renounced all your previous affiliations with the African National Congress. So that means if there was somebody in the ANC underground who was responsible for your work, that task changed because your political authority was now under Umkonto Sizwe, which accounts politically to the African National Congress. All members of Umkondewe Siswe will never attack the African National Congress. We took a life and death oath to be under the political control, not just leadership, political control, underline this word in capital letters, political control of the African National Congress under command and control of Umkondo Sizwe. This was one of our commanders. Commander there. He's the convener of MK Liberation War Veterans as reunited by the African National Congress. There's no other MK that is not under the African National Congress. And therefore, comrade, this question, I wear the com this combat when we went to Bloemfontein after COPE was established. That's when I wear the combat. I went back to this combat. I went back to this combat because another party is established in our name. This is absolute saga, it's thievery. It's unacceptable. This is provocation. In military terms, Members of Umkondo Sizo understand this thing. This is political mutiny. Yeah. Yes, this is uh, Commander Gabe from the Special Force. <laughs> These are our heroes. <laughs> we trained them in Cuba, in Angola, in Cuba. They came here, they made big operations. When Hani died, I was with his comrade in the camp. General Andrew Masondo came to give us this sad news. 
It was accompanied by Chief of Operation General Lambert Muloy. Both deceased. May the undying spirit keep on fighting. We wanted General Lambert Muloy to give us an operation order to once and for all embark on a decisive arm struggle for our country after they killed our chief of staff. This was the worst provocation that they gave to our country. And yet, the leadership of our movement calmed us down. General Muloy said he doesn't have authority for operational order. He has to go to the high command. The high command accounted to the African National Congress. Shout out! Send a message that no. We are not going for an all out violence. We were ready. Yes, we were ready. We were trained in everything. We listened to the political leadership. We want this country to know, particularly those who want to subvert this democracy. To understand its compromises. This cadre from the special force, you can see by looking at him, Commander Gap, doesn't fully enjoy freedom. Yeah. Yeah. As are many MK combatants. Majority of these comrades are not working, we're in our combat. Because of those compromises. We will have to respond to these questions, comrade, post elections, comrade Mbaluna. It's the first task we are placing on the table as the Communist Party. The welfare of our combatants and all revolutionaries. We will discuss all those details because this is a public platform. I felt it's important that why I'm wearing a combat today, this is my election attire, Comrade Banyas. Because we are defending the name of Umkondo Esizwe. We joined the African National Congress in court. We were there in court. We signed legal papers to affirm that what Secretary General Mbalula was doing on behalf of the ANC, it's a collective decision of us in the alliance, particularly the founding leaders of Umkondo Esizwe. You can never separate us from Umkondo Esizwe. You can never even steal from us. All Umkondo Esizwe soldiers, Vote for the African National Congress, no other party. These comrades will be a great tribute to our General Secretary, Commander Krizan. When we have enough time, we will, we will create enough space, not on a joint program with government because there's got limitations. We will speak at length about the life and times of the great warrior of our liberation, Commander Krizan. Who, he who stood for the working class and nothing else. Who, who stood for non-racialism but will never accept any white supremacy. Will never accept any tendencies towards selling out our revolution. Whether from inside or from outside. It was never a sellout, Comrade Krizan. And therefore, these cadres of our movement, commanders and commissars, of the glorious People's Liberation Army. Where's our chaplain? Oh, you are in uniform chaplain. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's our chaplain. He, he, he must speak about our history. About Mkondo Sizwe. He buried, perhaps more than anybody, most of our commanders and cadres in, 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 outside. Because they were buried by our own chaplains. We observed this religious right. So when we talk about the history of Umkondo Esizwe, from the perspective of the Communist Party and the ANC, people like Chaplain Mapato must be involved in this question. Because they remain true cadres of this glorious people's army. Like as Jumpo, you said, we will die in this uniform. We will die with the African National Congress. We are humbling ourselves to our people that re-elect us decisively to correct things and to decisively depart from the unjust transition that was negotiated. The South African Revolution actually is rejuvenated. It starts now after this particular election. All our premiers, I want to send a message to them. Because this great premier here is doing very well. 
ndaki tena tena ku communist party we don't mince our words when we see the truth ipalwe clearly one of our best performing premiers gomasis clear about programs interventionist that's how the state must be i wish all the premiers can get oomph general on for corporate finance this week what you have already in our toll gate what came and is all to yaguma countries mao ya namhlanje say we accompany you to those countries because you have fulfilled the promise you made to our people thank you very much amanda Long live the Indian spirit of corporate crisis and the long live forward to socialism forward. forward. Thank you very much. Come on, Bob. I'll see you next time, Ngo. of the alliance for the messages they've given us starting from our servants who are very clear that they are going with the movement they might have the issues but they are going to vote for the movement it's a sign to all of us whatever issues which you have you must close your eyes and imagine If Stein Hazen is the president of this country, what would happen to the workers' rights? Because they are very clear that they do not want the workers' rights. They say they must curtail the power of the unions. Imagine the so-called moonshot taking over. What would happen on all the programs which have been mentioned? They were mentioned by the representative of the president but the fact of the matter that representative of the president was talking about a government led by the ANC those are the programs of the ANC Comrade Bax was very clear I won't go to what he said but only one thing which I picked up no individual is the ANC yes leaders come and go all of us must take that into our hearts comrade mapaila i pick up one issue he says why should the people who sacrificed in the armed struggle suffer like this we can say a lot about them some of them when they are getting buried in our townships we have to pull some resources and fundraise and so on so comrades the issue of our liberation veterans our comrades it's very serious comrade mkwetsa this matter must be taken up very seriously 
It's a very serious matter. I want to leave this platform by calling Comrade Tongisis Tabat. Om Tongisis. Comrade Tongisis. But I must also thank my the chairperson, uh, Comrade Tabisin Chiven, who was the chairperson of the first session. That working together, that working together, Comrade Doctor, as the coordinator, is very critical on such programs. Comrade Chong is used as the convener of the ANC in this region, or the coordinator in this region. Or oh, one of you is the convener, one of you is the coordinator. I want you to take the platform and give the vote of thanks. No, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. The Mangbong Program Director, Comrade Tulas, Owa Mumsebenzi, Ulo Lagakulu. Ugunjoleswa Amaz Wokbonga on behalf of the city of Ekuruleni, Mankale Ngomamudimpo, Sibonge, as the city of Ekuruleni, Ugusfumela, Ngokubega, Ngalom Sebenzo, Ukomomorita, Ukomretu Krisan. We thank your support and we thank your presence. Let me also thank the Secretary General of the NC, Comrade Bax, for honoring the event <coughs> and really reminding us about some of the lessons that we can draw from Comrade Chris. For every time when we come here, we become conscientized and better public representatives on behalf of the movement. We also want to thank the SACP as led by Comrade Soli and your profound input. I'm sure many of us, there's a lot that we've equally learned. Equally, we'd want to thank Kosatu for the message. Let me also take this opportunity and express our sincere thanks to the Minister of Higher Education who are standing on behalf of the president, or rather on behalf of the government of South Africa. Let me also thank all the ministers that are here and deputy ministers for embracing this uh, commemoration. I also want to thank the Premier of Gauteng, Comrade Banyaza, for being part of this event and obviously as the leader of the ANC in Gauteng, leading the entire collective. Sponge Abafundi and the traditional leaders that are here. We equally want to thank the membership of the ANC, the SACP, COSATU and SANCO who took it upon themselves to once again to be part of this important gathering. Thank you to the leadership of the RTT in Ekoruleni as led by Comrade Doctor and the entire collective, many of the RTT members are here. Let me also thank the organizers of this event from the city of Ekoruleni Sometimes we don't thank them enough for the great work that they are doing behind the scenes. So Sia Bongagakulu, in the midst of the difficulties, but in honor of Comrade Chris, we have always given him a befitting commemoration. Let me also thank the choir, Eteze Inati, into this event, Sia Bongagakulu. With that, we have came to the end of the event and we request the leadership to join us
for a tour to the heritage site. I think it will be led by Shrek. I'm not sure where is the person is Anel. Rambau, where is Rambau? Okay, the leadership we can gather here uh, for a tour. Thank you very much.